Hey there goons, I'm Mechion, and I'm playing Echo the Dolphin for the Mega CD. Echo was released on the Genesis, the Game Gear, maybe the Master System, I'm not sure. But the point is, this is the best version. Um, there's also a difference between the Japanese and the American versions of the Genesis one, however, I'll probably include those in an extra, just because... The differences in the Japanese one are very different to any of this. And here's Echo. He's a dolphin. With marks on his forehead. Yeah. Not much to say there. Here we have the start of the game screen. If we go that way, we could get some passwords. Now if we go this way, we can get on with the game. And here we are at home bay. If we use... A button, we can fire sonar, which allows us to talk to dolphins, like this one. The marks on your head look like stars in the sky. Or, how high in the sky can you fly? I'm not going to talk to every dolphin in the game, because that would take up too much time. But I'm going to include um, a few of the more interesting ones. Like this one. Echo, if we breathe air, why do we live beneath the waves? Of course, I could just be including this because it might relate to a plot point much later in the game. But who knows? Now, normally, Echo is a pretty slow dolphin. However, if we mash C, he starts to speed up. If we hold speed, once we get to a good speed, he stays there. Also, if we hold down A, our sonar, we get a nice little mini-map of the area. It's very, um broken in this particular level, but at other levels, it's... Excuse me there. It's incredibly useful. And here we have a shelled one. If we sonar them, they give us these helpful healing bubbles. One more ability before we head off. Attacking. By pressing B, we attack, and we can eat delicious fish. Delicious. Now, you gotta show them how high Echo can jump. Um... Okay... Let's never do that again. However, we can now leave. And we are welcome to Medusa Bay, the first level of the game which, for whatever reason, lacks a title. I honestly don't know why I've s Great. The first enemy of the game has just committed suicide. Selfie's off to a great start. These are the first enemy of the game. Jellyfish. If they touch the surface of the water, as you just saw, they kill themselves. I'm quite sure jellyfish don't do this in real life, so... Yeah. Also, we have some pointy coral up there, which will hurt us if we touch it. Gotta be careful. Avoid some jellyfish. In these caves, you can you can't um you can only turn back and forth, not side to side. Instead, you just move side to side. They're rather annoying. Same thing happens in ones like this, except you can only move up and down like that. We find a lot of these caves throughout the game. They're hard to maneuver in, but aside from that, they're okay. And this is a glyph. We can sing to them, but not all of them tell us stuff. Some of them even give us invincibility if we sing to them. And, uh, an orca. I know not what has happened to your pod. Perhaps the big blue will help you. You must shovel past the undercaves to find him. Hmm. Doesn't sound infamous or thing at all. Anywho, I really hate orcas, by the way. Um... They're okay in this game, sort of guides, but in the next one... Oh... You will see. You will understand why I hate them. And hopefully you will agree with me as to her hate. Anywho, just kill as many jellyfish as we can while getting to the other side of the level. Oh, by the way, the second bar up there, the top one is our health, and the second one is our air. We can't stay down too long because our air runs out, and when it does, we start losing health. 
and we don't want that to happen then. Hey! Aren't you a jerk of a glyph? That was a barrier glyph. If we have a key glyph, we can sonar them. And here's the undercaves. I really like this level. It's one of the most well polished in the game. It's just wonderful. First, you have to dodge this current by waiting for it to stop. Also, before I'm heading on, regular shelled one. Poisonous shelled one. They take five charges to kill, so I'm just going to avoid them. However, we do find a lot of them in the game. Hidden as normal shelled ones, of course. Now, rather than trying to break that wall, we need to go grab something else. And meet the most annoying enemy in the game. Pufferfish! Some of them lunge out of corridors to attack us, others just move up and down, and... There's gonna be a third type, which you'll see in later videos. Um, the next one, I think, if I ever get around to it. And even if it's not the next one, you'll see them eventually. They are bloody annoying. There's only one, maybe two more enemies more annoying than them, and they're much later. However, they basically just follow the same pattern as those ones. Swim slowly past eight arms. Swim slowly? Echo swims slowly for no one! Wow. As you see, it's very easy to get chain hit by enemies in this game. Thankfully, there are ample stocks of fish to keep our health up. And if you just move off a screen, they respawn, so... It's pretty easy to keep at full health, if you know where some fish are. Break that barrier glyph, which is why we got the key earlier. If we move back, we'll find that the barrier glyph has respawned, so we've only got one way to go. Oh my. That? That is eight arms. It is an octopus. If we move too quickly past it, he will swat at us and do about three bars of damage. For the record, it takes about three hits from a jellyfish just to do one. He is powerful. We'll also see some of his brothers later in the game. Oh, fuck. He's also invincible, if I didn't mention that earlier. You cannot hit him at all. Anywho, we gotta really swim quick here, because we're running low on health and air. These little air pockets restore our hair slowly, and these fish, they restore our health as always. Got a key glyph. Oh, coral. Uh, it's very easy to get stuck on rocks like that. Ow. Oh. Barrier glyph, barrier glyph, barrier glyph. When will you learn? And that's the end of this little test video. So, guys, I will see you next time. This is Mechion. See yous.